it's Megan and uh, this is gonna have to be a quick Ipsy unbagging because I have to go drive home because I got a jury duty summons so that's fun but I'm gonna go ahead and open this this is my January Ipsy unbagging and if you can't tell I have a new light which is making it so you can see my double chin so I don't know how to feel about that but well, I don't have a new light I have a new tripod for my light so first off the bat, I can feel that there is face masks in here. Two of them. Okay, let's see if there's more. There's other things outside the bag, but I'll look at the face masks first. So first of all, we've got a You Can't Handle This Sheet Mask. And it's got a little flame on it. I love getting sheet masks. They're so fun. And I have like quite a few now from Ipsy. And this is, <laughs> this one says this sheet is bananas. And this one is a hydrating or hy hyaluronic and hydrating face mask. And this one it says volcanic ash and purifying. So that's cool. Oh, hyaluronic acid. I don't know why I can't say hyaluronic. Well, I just said it. Um, and I think it's by the brand called Sheet Mask and Chill. So that's cool. Love that. Definitely gonna try those out when I get back. It's like the middle of the week, I'm so annoyed, but whatever. Okay, the next thing is, uh, looks like a full-size lip pencil in the shade Lust, love that. If we can get it open. I don't regularly wear lipstick, so a lip pencil lasts me a really long time. And that's the color on the end, if you can tell. And ooh, it's like an actual pencil, so it's not like a twisty. Okay, so there's the color, nice. Oh, and with this light, you can like actually see things. That's wonderful, but like that color, that's nice. And now I think we're on to things actually in the bag. Oh, this is so cute. It's like a little like, kind of reminds me of the beach, but it's January, but love that this little red matches my hoodie. Oh, and I'm wearing a Ferris State University hoodie when I go to U of M, but that's okay. I used to go to Ferris. Um, okay, so the next thing in the bag, love that it has the cruelty-free bunny on it, right there. This is a Dream Maker Light Shifting Highlighting Cream by So Susan Cosmetics. <laughs> that's such a strange name, but okay. Um, so the packaging looks like this, very shiny. Um, I'm gonna swatch it. I think, yeah, that's all that's in there. Where am I putting the trash? Oh, just right in front of me. I'm blind. Um, so let's swatch that bad boy right there. Ooh, I can already tell I'm gonna love this. I've never really played around with liquid highlighters, uh, but... I'm definitely gonna try to, but I don't know if this is gonna be a good highlight for my skin tone because I'm very pale. I don't know if it even shows up. Like, obviously the spot right there where the light is catching a little more, that's where the highlight is. So, I like that shade. Probably gonna end up using it more as an eyeshadow highlighter, but we'll see. And then there's the card. Don't really read these because I don't like reading things that aren't really that important. And here's a little box. Let's see, does it have the cruelty-free bunny? It does not, so it's probably tested on animals. But it is by a brand called a, a Car Skin, and it's a mini care lip butter, organic and non-toxic. Nice, I've had very chapped lips for the longest time. Sadly, I'm already wearing chapstick, so it would be kind of hard to actually test this, but it's in this like cute little container. It reminds me of like, I don't know, those containers that people would store their contacts in. I don't know if I like the smell of that. We'll see later on when I test it. Or I'll see, because I really haven't been doing like reviews of these, these things, and I should, but mm, I've been lazy. I think there's one more thing in here, and I feel like it's a brush. It's definitely a brush. And it's a big brush, hello. Uh, this one is a Luxie Beauty number 1010 small contour brush okay um it's kind of fluffy looking to be a contour brush but if that's what they're calling it and i can already tell right off the bat that one of the hairs was like falling out i'm not actually wearing any contour right now but 
your girl oh yeah this is like shedding big time i don't know if you can see that but i don't really have time to contour right now but i love that it has like a little grippy on it but i feel like it's probably meant more for like right-handed people but it's it's soft i'll give it that i just don't know if it's like good for contouring maybe i'd use it more as a highlighter brush but it's soft so that's everything in my ipsy january bag uh if you enjoyed this video please leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe so we can hit like 400 subscribers. I believe I'm about like 25, 26 away and that's exciting. Um, I really wanna hit 500 subscribers, but that's like 526 away, uh, but that'd be super exciting. Also, I will link down below my boyfriend's channel. He started a YouTube channel and I'm gonna do a couple videos with him this weekend uh but yeah that's everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please leave it a big thumbs up just another reminder and if you like my content or my awkwardness uh come join my awkward little internet family and help me hit 400 subscribers maybe before the end of january probably not but also look how long my hair is getting it's like scaring me it's like it's probably not an inch long yet. I don't really know the length, but it's growing in a certain direction now and it's so weird, but it's so soft and I'm trying not to dye it until it gets to like down here, which is going to be so hard for me, but like I'm going to have to struggle not to go back to a pixie cut because I've had a pixie cut for the last like year and I loved it, but oh well. Uh, I should end this video because I have to go home and open a jury duty summons. Uh, that's lovely, isn't it? Adulting is just a fun thing. I've been an adult for two years and this is my first jury duty, jury duty summons and I can't talk today and I'm not going to cut that out because I'm lazy about editing because I'm a terrible, terrible YouTuber. Alright, I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video, whenever that may be. Goodbye.